crap, dog. What is happening, friends and fam? This dude ain't paying attention. What is going on, everybody? Dirty D's out here on the highways and byways, cruising to downtown San Antonio, bringing you a traditional moto vlog, man. I don't do a whole lot of these, but uh, yeah, I thought it would be fun just to start off like this and kind of maybe even take you to a couple of the sights and scenes in downtown San Antonio that I love so much. While I tell you a little bit about a book that I listened to last month called The War of Art. All right, so you might think that it's The Art of War, the old Chinese book, centuries old, but no, it's called The War of Art. And this is by a guy named Stephen Pressfield. And you know, I wouldn't be bringing you a book review of all things on a motorcycle channel if I didn't think it was extremely valuable and just so fascinating. So anyway, here we go, I hope you enjoy it. So this book, The War of Art, the guy starts out by saying that everybody has two lives, okay? You have the life that you're living and the life that you want to live, okay? So he kind of grabs your attention with that. And then he goes on and he starts saying stuff like, are you an artist who doesn't paint? Are you a writer who hasn't written a story or a book? Are you a entrepreneur who never entrepreneur? Are you a business person who's never started a business? And then you start thinking, okay, so what is this book all about? Well, it's about the fact that many times in life we have an objective or a goal or, you know, something that we need to do, our life's work, quote unquote, and we don't do it or we procrastinate doing it. And so I'm going to talk to you about some of the things that I learned in this book I thought were awesome. And I'm going to preface it like I do sometimes by saying I am not a Yoda master. It, because I'm talking to you about these things, it doesn't mean I've mastered any of them. Uh, but I just want to pass them along and shoot, hopefully I'll remember them next time when I need them. But uh, yeah, so here we go. The first thing is what he calls resistance. And this is why we don't do those things that we need to do in our lives. It's all about this resistance. Well, resistance is that little voice inside your head when you want to do something. It could be writing, it could be painting, it could be starting that business, but it's that voice inside your head that says, you're not good enough. Or it's that voice that says, nobody wants to listen to a book, nobody wants to listen to music like that, or nobody will read a book like that, right? It's this kind of stuff. It's negativity inside your own mind that keeps you from doing things. And many times it just revolves around fear. And we all have it. The more you give into that voice, the stronger that voice becomes. It's almost like a muscle that you don't want, right? But when you give into it, that little voice becomes stronger and stronger. I'm gonna go ahead and pull over here in just a minute. I'm gonna tell you some of the uh, systems that he builds that will, that these are mental systems that you can build that will help you to overcome these things. All right, cool, check this out. I'm gonna run up into this little spot that I was at just the other day and uh, show you what the downtown San Antonio River looks like. And by the way, if you're SAPD, San Antonio Police Department or Metro Police, this that you're seeing right now is not me on the sidewalk. This is actually all done in Photoshop and editing software. It looks realistic, doesn't it? Anyway, cool city, man. Now, the big question is, how do you get off of this thing? Hey, motorcycle can take a curb. Come on now. So in the book, Stephen Pressfield, he talks about the difference between being an amateur and being a professional. And by the way, it doesn't have anything to do with money unless you're an athlete. But other than that, you can be a professional even though you're not getting paid for your art. That art could be business, it could be painting, it could be writing, it could be acting, it could be filmmaking, whatever it is. It has nothing to do with money. It has everything to do with professionalism. But here's the other main difference. Professionals invest in their work. Amateurs don't invest in their work. And that investment isn't always money. It's, it's often time. Sometimes it is money. When you invest in something, you have more to lose. So you're pushed to work even harder and put out an even better product. All right, cool. Let's keep on rolling. So like the author talks about, I mean, if you don't use the gifts that you have and everybody has gifts, he says, he says that the way he puts it, everybody has genius. Now he's not talking about genius like Albert Einstein. He says that uh, the word genius, I was interested to find this out. If you look up the, the Latin roots, 
Genius basically means a, a driving spirit within you. So I guess everybody has kind of that driving spirit. What are these two ding-dongs doing? A rev bomb. Come on, man. These people treat it like it's their own private little spot. See, and now I get stuck. Anyway, well, it's a good place to be stuck, I guess. All right, so now we're kicking it at the park at San Fernando Cathedral. Check this place out, man, and then we're gonna get right back to what we're talking about. Check this out. So that's San Fernando Cathedral. It's one of the oldest churches that we have in the city. Smack dab in the middle of downtown. Cheers, Blue Star Art Complex, man. Support your local businesses, baby. Quadruple vodka on the rocks, just kidding. So the other thing they say about beer, beer can be a positive, but it can also be a real negative, not just for you, but for other people, because sometimes that fear that you have that drives you. And that fear, by the way, you only feel it when you're about to do something great, something that you're supposed to be doing. When you're, when you're about to do and, and move along the path that you're supposed to be on, that fear is the resistance, right? Anyway, it can also make some people want to hurt others by discouraging them, especially if they are within the same realm of creativity. That usually shows its form in jealousy. It shows its form in being critical of other people and their work when really the problem's with you. You know, when you slam people really hard, it says more about you than it does about them. So it goes on to say that true creatives, people who are really into their work with, with their true heart, they understand what it what it's like to push through that resistance. They know how hard it is to push through resistance. So when they see other people doing that, they don't want to tear them down. They want to build them up. They want to understand how they're doing it. They want to ask them for advice. They want to collaborate with those people. It's really a feeling of, you know, a rising tide lifts all ships. Something that we talk about in our community all the time. All right, you guys ready to move on to the next? Cool spot here, man. San Fernando Cathedral. I love it. Check it out. I went to church here with my grandma one time. Look at that. You got my shadow here. You got the Tower of the Americas there. Things are going right, boy. We're doing something right out here. We're doing something right out here. Anyhow, like I say, pick up this book. Pick up the audio version of War of Art. The War of Art. How to push through your resistance. In other words, how to push through your fear and how to push through your own bullshit. And like I say, if you want an audio copy of it, just hit me up. I'm happy to send you the link. You'll get it for free because it's coming from me, Dirty D, in the freaking street, trying to get freaky on the one, two, three. Listening to a lot of Beastie Boys lately. Even started writing some rhymes, maybe. If you want to know about it, you got to stay tuned. Next time I'm going to be rapping in the bathroom. All these people riding on their bikes, I'm going to rev bomb you. It's something you won't like. Dirty D stays dirty, baby. Keep it real, keep it alive. The original dirt bag. All right, peace out, folks. We're going to see you back out here in the Mother Hummus trees one of these days. And if you ever come down to San Antonio, Texas, please, by all means, please know that you got a place to hang out, man. It might not be at my house, but you'll have a place to hang out. <laughs> hey, it's not just me there, man. What can I say? I got the old lady. Sometimes she talks a lot of sh**. Sometimes she's funny. Now I'm funny too. The war of art, baby. Fight it. The war is real. Reminds me of what my boy Rocket Rider 510 always says. Don't let the artist get in the way of the art. Gee whiz, Rocket. Genius, baby. Genius. Now go ahead and move. You got your right turn signal on. But you look like a ding dong. Cause you haven't made the move. Now I see you. Are you paying any attention? I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. But I won't. I'm gonna hang back. Because I'm not a knucklehead like that. How is my clutch? I just fixed it. I think it's good. Good like a biscuit. <laughs> These are the wraps you come up with, dude.